All right, so what I'm going to show you guys how to do is find the lateral surface area. If you guys look at this rectangular prism, um, you guys can see that there are a total of six sides. All right, And what we talked about was be able to determine which the sides are which, the base, the top, the left side, the right side, the front, and the back. And it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter how you want to label them. But what I wanted you guys to understand from our examples that we did was that opposite ends of a rectangle prism have exactly the same dimensions and exactly the same area. So we don't need to do something more often than we already have to. So to find the surface area, all I'm going to do is find the areas of the front and the back and then multiply it by 2. So I'll say 2 times 3 times 4. That represents the front, the area of the front and the back. Wait, why did you do two? I'm sorry. I didn't do two. Oh, because there's two of them. Here's your front side. Here's the back side. And there's two of them. They have the same area. They have the same dimensions, right? If this is a rectangular prism, if that's four, that's four. If that's three, that's three. Then we add that to two, and then we'll do eight times four, which represents the, the area of the base and the top. Here's the base. And here's the top side. Then I can add that to 2 times, um, I'm sorry. 3 times 8. That was 3 times 8. Oh. And then this will be 8 times 4, which represents the area of the right side and the left side. So if you guys can just find the areas of sides, of, one, of three sides, and then you multiply them by 2, now what I can go ahead and do, you can go back around that way, please. So 2 times 12 plus 2 times 24 plus 2 times 32. All right. 2 times 12 is 24 plus 48 plus 64. Is everybody following me on my math? A little Yeah. So we have 24 um, plus, six, plus 64 will be our 24 plus that is going to be 72 is going to be 136. Now, I didn't give a dimension, which I probably should have. Let's call these inches. If these are all inches, then therefore, again, we're discussing area. So this is 136 inches squared. OK? Is that your final answer? That is my fine answer. Sorry?